look at Key Corp Roar. So far this earnings season, we've heard some very good things from the banks, the money centers, now smaller regionals, really good results. For example, with Key Corp, the parent of Key Bank, which has roughly 1,000 locations now across the western and eastern United States, it just reported an excellent quarter this morning, including a very bullish update on the company's recent acquisition of First Niagara, which gave them hundreds of additional locations in upstate New York, Connecticut, and Pennsylvania. Key posted a four cent earnings beat off a 20 cent, 26 cent basis with higher than expected revenue, and management said the first Niagara deal is exceeding expectations on all fronts. No wonder the stock vaulted nearly 6% today. At this point, Key Corp has given us an almost 20% gain since we last spoke to the CEO roughly three months ago. And if the Federal Reserve really does raise rates in, in December, as so many people are now anticipating, then this regional bank will be coining money because higher rates means they'll be able to get a better return when they invest in your, depo- best your deposits. So can the stock continue to rally? Let's take a closer look with Beth Mooney. She's the chairman and CEO of Key Corp. Learn more about the quarter and our company's prospects. Ms. Mooney, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. Glad to be back and on an exciting day for Key Corp. All right, Beth, this is really uh, the best quarter I've seen from the regionals. Uh, net interest margin, great. Actual real leverage to the bottom line. Some fantastic, uh, actually kind of explosive loan growth. How is it all coming together? And how much better did First Niagara turn out than we first thought it would be a long time ago when you first pondered doing the deal? Well, as we sit here today, I think our, the strength of our quarter was really driven by two things. And first and foremost, it was the core performance of Key Corp on a standalone basis. As you said, we had outstanding loan growth, an 11% increase in our commercial lending. We had strong deposit growth. Our corporate and community bank both posted very, very strong revenue growth, including a record quarter for our investment in banking and debt placement fees and expenses were well controlled. So across the board, standalone key had a great quarter. And then within the quarter, we did have our successful acquisition and integration of First Niagara, as we sit here literally one year after we announced the deal. And we have now 35 billion more in assets, another million clients and 300 additional branches. And as we look at the momentum in the core First Niagara franchise, we see solid loan and deposit growth and client acquisition there as well. So if you look at the some of the parts coming together, it was a really strong quarter, and I think it bodes well. But how much of this is uh, just in your geographies, uh, the country, employment doing better, companies doing better, and how much of it is share tech? Because you are a local bank, and there's great share tech right now because some of the national banks have actually, uh, let's say, done their own clients a bit of a disservice. Well, I will tell you that as I look at it, We've talked over the last couple of years that we've been investing in bankers, we've been investing in products and capabilities, and what I think you're seeing is share take. We believe that we are growing market share and successfully executing our model in our markets. And so I am very, very proud of our teams that are cl- facing off against our clients and our communities and growing the bank. It's funny, you just mentioned a word that, I, the, although it wasn't implied with where I'm going, but in the bloodless transcript of the analysts, they don't seem to care, but there is something about where you're from right now that is winning. And I'm not just speaking about the Indians, I'm talking about basketball. And I often feel that when you see the excitement of these teams, it actually does impact an economy of a city. Are you seeing Cleveland and Ohio having a, a renaissance in part because of, I'm not kidding, what's happening in Cleveland, the city itself? I will be the first to say Cleveland rocks. Uh, But with that, I do think in our area of the country, you are seeing strong economic growth. It is in this slow growth economy. These are steady industries. Our economies are doing well. Our customers are doing well. And there is a confidence. Um, There is a cautious optimism about the broader macroeconomic environment. Uh, But I think there's a confidence that people know how to make money. And they are, if you look at our investment banking and debt placement fees, you see a lot of activity in M&A where companies are buying competitors or products or capabilities. So it's it's a good time. The, the Midwest is performing very well. A lot of people think know that oil is down, but certainly up since February. But natural gas has been a real strong, strong performer. Utica is heavy natural gas. And with the rest of the country and Mexico want the natural gas where you're very close to where you are. Uh, impact of the growth of that industry, even as people think about the oil, oil business not being that good. Well, obviously, there was a pullback across both natural gas and oil-related companies over the last couple of years. But if you look since the first of the year, natural gas has doubled. And so, again, I think you are starting to see not only some stability but signs of growth in the gas industry. Okay, I, I do have to ask this just because uh, my chapter just owns it in full disclosure, and it's been very disappointing. Uh, Wells Fargo's impact. Wells Fargo's really the, maybe until a, until a month ago maybe the most powerful banking influence. 
Um, I'm a big believer that Wells is not going to do that badly in this environment because it's very hard, very banks are very sticky. But can Key benefit from the problems of another national bank that is, frankly, lost uh, people a lot of confidence in? You know, I think what we all need to do as banks is make sure that we take a look at ourselves and make sure that we talk about our relationships and how engaged and what we want from our clients. And at Key, we talk about how does our, what do we want our clients to experience? What are their behaviors, not the products that we are necessarily selling them? So we, do they bank with us? Do they borrow with us? Do they save with us? Do they need advice that helps them make good and confident decisions for their family and their businesses? And I think if we stay true to our relationship strategy and engaging with our clients, that's been part of the success and growth we've seen in our community bank. And I think it's a time where everybody needs to make sure that what they're measuring and the outcomes they want are really driven by behaviors that are driving good client relationships. All right, let's leave it at that. I like that theme very much. Beth Mooney, Chairman, CEO of Key Corp. Thank you so much, Beth. Great to see you. Thanks, Jim, and great to be on the show. Thank you. Solid quarter, inexpensive stock. I like it. Beth Mooney, Key Corp. Stick with them. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.